On some jobs, you may want the invoice to show every cost rather than just subtotals. Job Cost Wizard can do that. Here, we're showing only subtotals. To make a change, I'll click on the Detail button. Subtotals Only is checked for all four cost categories. Let's change that to show all material, labor, and equipment costs. Can you see the difference? All the costs are right there for everyone to see. And if you export to QuickBooks, every material cost will be on the QuickBooks item list. That's going to be overkill for most jobs. I'm going back to subtotals only. That's better. On some jobs, your customer may furnish the materials. In that case, you'll want to strip all material costs out of the estimate. You could make material cost estimates all zeros, but there's a better way. Notice that the material cost subtotal is gone. I'm going to switch back to subtotals only and show you another choice in the details dialog box. Here's a choice that can shorten any estimate. Omit work descriptions if you want to show only subtotals. See the difference? Now your invoice shows none of the details, and all you see are cost categories and amounts. You may like this better. Markup has to be in your estimate, but it doesn't have to show up on your bid or invoice. Job Cost Wizard lets you distribute markup proportionately among all costs so customers never see markup as a separate item. I make that choice by clicking the Details button. You have three choices. Omit Entirely strips all markup out of your estimate. Use Omit Entirely if you're exporting to QuickBooks and you want to use a different markup for every item. At End of Estimate puts overhead and profit lines just above the total in your estimate. In Every Cost Item is different. It loads every cost with a share of the markup. Now markup is hidden. Whether markup is hidden or displayed, the total is the same. QuickBooks lets you use nearly any account name. Job Cost Wizard does the same. You select Account Names in the QuickBooks Options dialog box. We're using the default account names. These are fine for us. But you can enter any account name. If you want account names used in Contractor's Guide to QuickBooks Pro, Click the big button. Using QBXML to integrate with QuickBooks is the best choice. OK, we're done here. Job Cost Wizard turns estimates into invoices. That's handy. But it's just the beginning if you use QuickBooks. I'll switch to QuickBooks using the Alt and Tab keys. QuickBooks Pro will print statements, pay your bills, write payroll checks, balance your checkbook, and track estimated and actual expenses item by item on every job. That's more than handy, it's essential. Dumping Job Cost Wizard estimates into QuickBooks saves lots of time. I'll show you. First, let's use Alt and Tab to get back to Job Cost Wizard. Notice this is our estimate, number 547. Let's save this estimate to QuickBooks Pro. I'll click on the Send to QuickBooks button. There is no certificate. I'll click Yes, Always 
so I don't see this screen before every export. And I'll click Continue. Yes. And done. This is a larger estimate. It takes a few seconds. Okay, we're done. Now let's open this estimate in QuickBooks. 